All right, does this say it, bud? Copy. All right, y'all. Um, before I even start, I just want to say I'm sorry, but gotta say this. Um, as we know, in the last patrol that we just had, there was a 10-100 that ended up on Topaz. Um, there was a police cadet that ruined a cruiser. So, therefore, the, the not just the, the police department, but the clan in general is going to have to pay for that police car. <coughs> Sorry. So, let this be a lesson learned that in serious patrols that safe driving is important. <laughs> not just for one of us, but for all of us. We go through training to learn to drive safe and like I say, what are you doing, Jay? I'm trying to end this drunk can. I'm sorry. Alright. As we know, police department is low on members right now. So therefore we're gonna that's why I'm getting every department to help out with that um the amount that they're going to pay. Uh, while I'm on that subject, uh, we had a patrol yesterday. Um, I didn't see any reports typed from that patrol yesterday. And it was a serious patrol. I was looking to follow back up on the officer that was um, killed that happened at the hunkers yesterday. Um, I didn't get any reports on that. Chief? Yep. That uh, incident, primary officer, happens to be the um, person of interest. Okay, but st we still have some reports on it. The I secondary that. unit that was over there, which was um, Cadet Muhammad, which is the same one that ruined his patrol car was supposed to follow back up on that. All units on scene still should have typed some type of report on what actually, on their perspective of what happened. My apologies, I thought that was actually only the primary unit on scene. Oh no. It, it has in the report, um, whatever Whatever you took place, or whatever unit you was on that, you still have to put that on there, whether you primary or secondary. Or if you just came to the scene, which is how a patrol is supposed to go. It, it don't matter what, what happened, you still have to type a report on whatever you was on that scene. And what happened. In a batch. See, the thing with that is like I say if, if your supervisor go with supervisors are supposed to be going and monitoring the reports so if they're not in there when they monitor it then that can be trouble for you but my main thing for today is just letting y'all know that y'all are gonna have to pay for that cruiser and I'm gonna give y'all a week from today so basically when y'all do y'all patrols make sure that you type your reports and put in the amount that you did your tickets for because we're going to go back and add it up to see if it equals to the amount uh... chief one thing for just a sec what's that uh... for all the cadets that are here have y'all actually been told or informed about the reporting system Copy. Zero. I Zero. never really understood. I tried doing them once, and I tried getting um, someone's attention, but it was really late at night, and I surfed out about until now. Okay. See me after patrol. I'll we'll just do a meeting so everybody get to understood. Because I I actually don't understand. Well, one thing I didn't do right, which I'm gonna have to correct it with all my cadets, because I talked them a different way. Um. So, um, you said 291. You're aware or not aware? 10-4, but I haven't filed one yet. 
Okay, if you would like to join the meeting, you can ask the patrol and we'll get that sorted out. 10 4, thank you. Man, I tell you, Jay so happened to be in the patrol, he came drunk. <laughs> can I get permission to speak? I'll go ahead. Um, can we get an estimate on how much the damaged cruiser is going to cost? A fully equipped cruiser, light, siren, and the whole nine yards. They come from four different prices, 35 to 40 stacks per cruiser. Uh, that one was used. Uh, Chief hadn't let us upgrade in a while. Uh, and it wasn't totaled out, so I don't know exactly how much of damage that would incur, Chief. But, uh, from what I saw at the DMO, um, at the insurance and just came out, we're gonna be looking at twenty thousand get that one replaced. If we go with a new one, it's gonna be a little bit more. So like I say, with the department being so low right now, we really don't have the funds for that. So we're just gonna stick with getting the parts replaced on that one. And that's gonna be twenty thousand. So like I say, y'all need to get out there and write some tickets if y'all need to do any uh drug bust. I mean, it's plenty of things for y'all to do out there. Create revenue for the city, yes. Uh, the last time a cruiser got wrecked, I believe it was, what, the Sheriff Department wrecked the cruiser, and we put together, what, what was that, a um, DUI checkpoint? And uh, we wrote plenty of tickets to replace that cruiser. Uh, and to get geez. some more. Was that my DUI checkpoint we did that for? Yep. Oh my god. Yeah. So, like I say, let this be a lesson learned, y'all. And um, we do take the serious and serious patrols, especially if I'm there. Uh, Jay was asking to let it go, but like I say, it was a serious patrol, and I was there, and I witnessed it, and he did too. So I can't let it go, y'all. You know, Andy, one more thing. Um, is that? Or is the whole clan gonna have to go through driving training for that? He's a no-no. No, you don't have to go through driving training, but um, y'all are gonna have to replace the cruiser. Now, as of right now, uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna do with the officer that actually was that actually you know wrecked the cruiser. So I'm not sure. And the the the, the reason that I'm doing this is because it it, it wasn't reported. So, like I say, if y'all get in accidents, they teach y'all that in training, so report it. Can I, uh, this is the last thing. So, is the person that did, was the, did the person in the car actually crash, or was it another cruiser that he hit? I'm not sure, but he just came up on scene with the car damaged. So I'll upload some pictures on the website, because I took plenty of them. So, y'all see. Like I say, it was no, it was no, he, he didn't say anything about that. He just came over there on scene like that, and I don't approve of it, so. so that's, that's one thing I said. I, said, I told y'all I want y'all to make sure that y'all come on scene with y'all cars clean, and with y'all hats on. That's the main things that I want. If you come over there with a damaged cruiser, I'm going to call y'all on it. And somebody's gonna be paying for it. So, um, as of right now, we're gonna go ahead and start on that. And um, like I say, make sure that you keep up with your traffic tickets because I'm gonna be looking for that. So the reports have to match the tickets, correct? Yeah, you pretty much. You can't really falsify uh, the revenue that you create for the city because you have to have a report to match the uh, citation. Yes, whatever you call, if you call it in, it needs to match that report. Cause like I said, I'm recording right now, so I'm gonna know if it was if it's a false ticket or not. I'm just that serious on making sure that it's legit. Uh, tonight, I'm sorry for interrupting again, but the, usually you fill out reports after the patrol, and sometimes you forget where you exactly did the. That's why you uh, need to take notes while you're in game. I'm exactly. assuming screenshots would work, right? Yeah, however, well, you need to get it. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna talk a, a lot like all of this. Cause I did have a feeling that maybe this was not 
100% discussed with all cadets, so we're just going to go over that briefly, and uh, and that'll be after the patrol to make sure everybody's acquired on that. Hey, okay, question. I have other question. Like, I mean, if we if we haven't even discussed this with the cadets, and this is for my supervisors, why why are they past that point if they still haven't been taught that? Like I said, it's just training being skipped over, or it's, do we need to come back in on training? Well, I'm technically the only supervisor, and unfortunately, I haven't trained any of these cadets. Uh, correction, you trained me. I did. Yeah. You trained me for and part I didn't of it, say then I did. About ticket reports. Uh, not that I remember, but you only did until I think Code Three training. Oh. You didn't fully train me, but <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> I'm coming over there. Okay, so I did partial your training. Someone else completed the other half. Yeah, real okay. person that completed my other half. That explains it. <laughs> 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 Alright y'all, that's, that's what I say about the supervising skills. Like I say, when they come back down, it's gonna fall back on y'all if it's if things is being skipped over. As well as um, real when he go through the training, I don't, like I said, I want y'all to teach these new members. It's, you know, that way they know not to do certain things when they get in the serious patrol. Like I say, se semi-serious and serious, two totally different things. And by y'all doing semi-serious, this is what I told Jay. If y'all doing semi-serious too much, y'all gonna get into those bad habits and continue to bring them into the serious patrols. So, yeah. like I say, y'all need to start having more serious patrols. That way you can get back into used to uh, doing things professionally. Because filling our reports, I mean, I type templates on the website. I mean, even if, if the supervisor didn't tell you, I mean, y'all have plenty of time to go on the website and just read up on things. It, it's, it's on there tells you how to do everything yeah actually uh gun did tell me about it but he i had to go beforehand after he told me a little bit about it and i i tried filling out one but then i knew i was gonna get it wrong so i i was gonna talk to someone about it but then it was really late at night and i just sort of forgot about it all right because like i say not just i mean just so happened today when this happens oh nobody knows how to fill the reports up <laughs> But Dang. before today, <laughs> nobody asked. So, like I say, it's not all the supervisors either. Like, but like I say, like this, this gonna be a lesson learned because y'all gonna be doing a lot of tickets. So, that's on y'all. Everybody can go tonight whenever you're ready. Can I right. requesting a um, requesting to do a speed trap? Hey, chief. What's that? Do you know how to make the the, the, the drunk cam stop coming on? Mine constantly coming on. So let go of them forties, man. <laughs> I'm not sure, man. I don't know what that is. He's gonna leave my door open. Okay. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry, chief. <laughs> Two ninety one dispatch. Two ninety one. Show me uh, 10 7 for 2 mics. Not for 10 7. 298, 298, oh, 298 to 101 direct. Go ahead. There was actually one question. Ed, is the person that uh, wrecked the cruiser being punished for it or what? Or can uh, you not just. We're not going to discuss on that. Yeah. We're not going to discuss it. That's a uh, HA level or above. Four zero one dispatch. Show me. Uh, go into the grocery store to go get uh, socks and some oranges. Ten four ten six. Whoa! Can heading. you ten nine that? What, what you going to go do? <laughs> going to get some, get a sock and some oranges. He <laughs> need to go get some tickets, bro. <laughs> This <laughs> ain't no time to be eating oranges. <laughs> well, let's just say they have a different purpose. <laughs> Alright, I don't know, I know what that purpose is, but okay. <laughs> you know, I hate the 105 direct. 105. Requesting permission to do a speed trap. 
simple. What's going to be the score? Uh, stand by on that. Actually, in the state of Alabama, we can't do speed traps. It's not legally uh, admissible by uh, any municipality. Sorry, you can't hear that ball. So we can't do speed traps. Y'all have to excuse Jay and his vocabulary because <laughs> he tends to bring his college to the clan, so. You should do a speed trap. <laughs> like, let me just tell y'all in a way that that I may understand. Just just know. <laughs> oh, that's a whole lot. But that's that's Jay denying it though, not me. I didn't say no. It was him. Yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't do speed drops. Now which can I do the 105 direct. 105. Can I? Uh, can I hit the 105 direct? Uh, no, sorry, not 105. 102. 102. Go ahead. Uh, how about a DUI checkpoint? I'm sure. Okay. Just go ahead on with it. Don't don't mind, Jay. We already did a DUI checkpoint on the web on the YouTube channel already, anyways. Way too late for that. Also, all units be advised that if we come into um, the conclusion that it's a false report that's been typed, it will result into a write up. You can deny that. If you type a false report with those tickets, it will result into a write up. Oh, uh, 10 4. 291 dispatch. Okay. I'm not Show me uh, 10 8. 10 4 10 8. code 0. User joined your channel. Four zero one dispatch. Four one go on. Ten eleven southbound of Dunkin' Duke's Expressway, Beachwood City, with oh gray two to one four kit. Uh, occupied one time. License plate's gonna be uh, whiskey, whiskey, whiskey seven two five zero. No 1048s. 480 1011. We'll go ahead. 480 1011 East Brown Brokerage Express Lake Beachwood City on a green corquette, two doors occupied one times. License plate Paul X ray William 2211. Paul X ray William 2211. I'm getting a wanted marker. Can I get one additional, please? Code 2. 10 4 dispatch 41. Do you copy? Four zero one. That's gonna be a ten ten. I'm still in a traffic stop. Two ninety one dispatch. Two ninety one. Two ninety one will be available if you need an additional ten forty eight. Ten four. We can go ahead and respond. Two ninety one dispatch. Two ninety one. Go ahead. Um, show me ten eight. Ten four. Two ninety one dispatch. Two ninety one, go ahead. Two ninety one's gonna be requesting a DAS number for the aircraft requesting an additional ten forty eight. Ten four. Unit unit um point four forty eight was through seventy five, please.
480. He tried to run for me. I got him detained. I got one in the custody. Uh, we're gonna be eastbound broken to this expressway. Ten four. Two ninety one dispatch. Two ninety one. Show me ten eight. Ten four ten eight. Four eight zero. I got one ten fifteen ten six. Ten four. Calculating route. Calculating route. Calculating route. In 200 yards. Turn left. 298. Uh, 298. Last in Colin, go ahead. In oh, why is the legal? Yards. Why is the legal speed Turn on the highway? Left. Like, I know it's 45, but how far can people go on here? I didn't know it was illegal to go under. Yeah, some yes. people go. Some highways it is. Um, typically it's gonna be, I wanna say, 20. But uh, you're on the highway. Yeah, but transferring that over to GTA is kinda weird. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's what I'm doing. Like, 20 should be the bare minimum if you're doing 45. Alright. Okay, I was gonna. In 400 yards. Unless you're in a construction right. zone and that changes. But you're on a highway? In 200 uh, yeah, yards. I was just wondering because I was going to go somewhere right. else then. I had to quickly do something then. I sort of, I had my in radar on and I saw I was just making yards. sure. Turn right. right. <laughs> 401 dispatch priority. 800 yards. Uh, oh, I got a right. Hey, one Victor route. on what's it going to do? Expressway in Beachwood City with a looks like a gray four door make a uh, safe. premier license plate. It's going to be Charlie Yankee Taylor in 0 33. No insurance. Turn it looks like I got left. 298 behind me. Yeah, one for. We're now eastbound. Turn Turn to Expressway heading towards Friends International Circle. Please proceed to highlighted route. Oh. That was make a U turn, we're safe. Turn right. 401 dispatch, so just 1050 into a light pole. We're now heading towards the loading area. 100 yards. So just break on me. I'm gonna go ahead and pull in front. Yeah, he's gonna get back. Yeah. 401 dispatch, you definitely get the first time to be able to. Right. I'm gonna fire this flash in 23. Don't point your gun at him. He might, he might glitch. Let's see what else he wants to do. Alright. Stay right there while I frisk you. Where's everyone for this bad? Looks like I've got uh, cocaine. Uh, on him, you can check his vehicle. Uh, 298 can check his vehicle real quick. 10 4. You don't get your ID. 4 at 0, his priority channel been lifted. 10 10. I want to pop to any of Can I have any uh, right here? 298 to 101, uh, 401 direct. 401, go ahead. It looks like he has a cooking lab in his vehicle. One of wings, I mean, it's one of three. I'm not using the traffic. Did you say like a coke uh, assortment? No, he said he has a cooking lab in his vehicle. Ooh, cooking lab. One of to any second unit, please block the road. You know, he's gonna be blocking the road. Alright. So it looks like we got one cooking lab as well as cocaine. Say that sums up about twenty thousand dollars. 
That's funny. <laughs> Pay for the car right there, didn't do one. It, actually, in real life, it probably would be a $20,000 fee. Exactly. Gates closed. We're done. <laughs> Good job, Good Adam. Hey, 102, what you think about that? <laughs> trying to play your pop. I don't know. I don't know nothing. <laughs> hey, we, we got meth in the I mean, We got cocaine and meth in the car. He's got several bags on him that probably equal up to good hold on let me see it let me see the pot let me see it where is it oh i don't see anything <laughs> <laughs> yeah. exactly hey, everybody trying to get out those tickets <laughs> man y'all thumb was gonna be hurting from pressing the ship key <laughs> yeah, I, I got stop the drunk him for some reason <laughs> let's get him stop drinking man <laughs> I'm gonna get out of game and come back. Yeah, four. Four zero one dispatch. We got the subject ten fifteen uh, from ten sixty one to station to one ten fifty one for ten one hundred Victor vehicle that was the end of the route and a detective for the meth lab to determine the amount of money that this car particularly is worth. Oh, well. Can I eat one five minutes? minutes. On a phone. Uh, do you want me to remove the barriers or keep them until the car, car gets towed? Yeah, remove them. Remove them? Okay. Do they remove on your screen? Nope. They didn't? Oh, okay. Okay. Now that you spawn a barrier, don't go so far away from it because it's just gonna stay there. Okay, sorry, but I didn't know. I'm okay. sorry. What if I'm gonna be back tonight? Tonight, it's gonna be back tonight. Four eight zero is ten six in station. It's uh, suspect. Four zero one. Sorry, go ahead. Two nine. Two nine one's gonna be back tonight. Four zero one to uh, four eighty. Here. Uh, what's the uh, suspect? Uh, I had a while you guys were doing that. I had a he was wanted and he had a loaded gun on him, so I took him under arrest while you guys were doing that. Yeah, for uh, what type of gun was it? No, uh, it was just a loaded handgun in the back of his car. But he's a he was wanted, wanted felon, can't have it. Then for it uh, sounds like he he had a limited edition Clint Eastwood pistol signed by Clint Eastwood. That's like worth thirty thousand right there, right? <laughs> I say you can get a uh, guy from 40, maybe. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get that booked in. It's done for. I think it's got some special bullets in there, too. You need some of those. It's supposed to be a little bit of Mars or something. Because it's not worth it. It's not worth Hey, if it's signed by Clint Eastwood, the Dirty Harry gun, oh, that's worth a lot of money. Alright y'all, can I get your everybody to go ahead and respond? I'm gonna patrol that area. Yeah, four. And four. Yeah,
four eight zero tonight. Two ninety one dispatch. Two ninety one. Show me with an active ten eleven uh, east on Thurman Street for a four door red Vigoro, uh, one times occupant, stand by complete. Turn left. Ten twenty what was this one again? Ten twenty is going to be east on uh, looks like Thir Thornton Street and Cervesa Heights. That's in Buffalo, right? I believe so, yes. Okay, 22 in response to that one. I don't want to make some 823 in Algonquin. What was the jurisdiction for NPD? Everybody's saying Algonquin. 10-4, 291 going to be 1084 to Algonquin, code 1. Four zero one dispatch, 10-11. Go on, go ahead. 1011 is going to be northbound Columbus Ave, Star Junction, nearest cross intersection is going to be Conzite Street, Star Junction, with a gray two-door ballista, occupied one time, license plate is going to be Sam, Sam, Kevin, 3373, no 1048 at this time. Uh, actually, no, 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 I just got this back. Right. Hold on. 101, you can show me uh, attempting a 1011 East Topaz Street. Uh, as of right now, it's fell in the yield. If you want to send me an additional to my 20, I'm going to be right in front of the Terra Oil gas station. This fast full rating. 480, 10-6, I'm about to be conducting a 10-11 on someone with traffic traffic infractions. 10-4. Dispatch. <clears throat> Is any unit available, can you please ready for 411 to 20? Uh, 298, you can. Don't be responding. Uh, do you want me to respond code 1? 10-10, hold up to code 2. 480. 480. 480-1011 on a black ballista. We're going to hit westbound on Bench Street and Willis. I have a plate when you're ready. 101 dispatch, you can go ahead and just uh, cancel that off. I think the suspect's glitched. 10-4. Dispatch 2, they didn't respond. Can you please 22 that? 
copy. 480, go ahead. 480-1028, Black Ballista, Nora Robert Henry 3356, Nora Robert Henry 3356. Air Force Control. Dispatch to 480. 480. Comes back clear on no 99s. Has two citations. Good for Four zero one to one hundred zero five. Four eight zero priority. Ready, go ahead with priority. Four eight zero priority traffic. That black bullet just ran from me. We're heading westbound Huntington Street. Westbound Huntington. Yeah, four. This crash lane is eighty four to that twenty, please. North Charleston vehicle occupied one time by a black male in a yellow shirt. Uh, no further information at this time. We're going to be heading north down in Camden. 98 dispatch. Would you like me to spot code 3 to that uh, terminal? Turn right. uh, Victor? All units are yards. All units are already caught up right. on it. 401 to 480. 480. Uh, are you in Algonquin? Uh, negative. I was never told we were. Should I move the other? Yeah. Yards. Yeah, we moved to Alcorn, but maintain left. pursuit. I'm coming. Ten four. That's my bad. We'll be heading south eastbound on Cerveza Avenue. Yeah. One hundred yards. Savannah, correction. Eastbound to the water. Eastbound, Argon. Yards. Turn right. South Seymour, making a left, and east on Carlton. Southbound Howard, making a left, and we out of Freetown now. Zero westbound Lynch Street. Christ. Turn oh, left. Turn right. The secondary unit take call outs. Four zero one. You show me westbound space up on Savannah Ave. Right behind you. Turn left. Ten four. Right Looks like he's driving a little bit reckless on the sides here, so if we get up on the freeway, pit him. 10-4. Once he yeah. picks up speed, I'll pit him up here. Yards. Turn oh, 10-50, 10-50, 10-50. 50 Good night. Yards. 90, can you roll 1052? Hit. Turn right. Careful, oh. careful, don't pit in this area. Oh! 4 is here, 10-50. Dispatch, I'm primary now. We're heading hey, southbound. Secondary. Today. He's booking it, guys. He's down, it's fun out here. Alright, I'm gonna try to roll in front of him. Yeah. Let's get him, let's get him. Turn. Okay, block. Let's get out. Fire the car. Who's primary? Well, who is the priest in primary? 480? Oh crap, he's pulling. I can roll up in that rest of you want. Yeah, thank you. Uh, he comes you here. have arrived. Stand for one on one, something twenty three. When did you guys go to Algonquin after that last call out? Uh, I told everybody to go to Algonquin. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was not listening. <laughs> That's all good, man. Two ninety one to zero. Well, that was a nice block. Yeah. Too bad he dented my cruiser. 
Same with that woman who came in in my front bumper. <sighs> well, at least this isn't your fault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm back. I need to talk to a few people. Who is this? JD. Anybody know a JD? It's a new uh, recruit. He's a recruit, oh. yeah. Hey, uh, JD, what department are you going to? You made it sound so official. I'm in a share, but I have still have to have my training, so. Alright. He comes into a series control channel saying that. He's new right now, so we'll let it go. That's, yeah, I know. <laughs> Rookie mistakes. Or actually, more supervisor wise. Alright, guys, um, let's go ahead and. 10, 10, 10. 10, 10. 10, 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. Whoa, yes, was dispatch? That was an explosion. Yeah, I heard it. Where was it? It can't be far. I'll check on the other side. 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 I'll check on the 10 and 4, right around the corner. Hmm. One of us at that gas station. The other side of the park is clear. Hey, you see that ambulance? Where's that ambulance at? Uh, it's one the It's completely lost. The inside? Yeah. Yup, it was the. Like, I found the. It's an ambulance. It blew up over here in this little, um, what is this? Is it? Yep. Alright, we got it. Can I We're going to your location. Speaking of ambulance, where is our fire and EMS at? I know, right? 291 to uh, 101 direct. Last in the column, go ahead. 291 going to be 10-7 for approximately like one minute. I'll be back in just a minute. 10-4. Thanks for letting us know. I like how the lights on top are still on. Yeah. Are there any bodies? Not that I see. It looks like somebody probably set it on fire. Like an arson or something. More and more people are hating fire EMS these days now. Hmm. How about him back? Oh, there's a couple of people standing over. I'll see if I can get some information. Can I? Can you roll an investigation team to the Tentonio of the explosion? User was moved to your channel. Realistically, this was probably some AWOL ambulance drivers. You can't run from me. Yeah, it could have been. It could have been a uh, possible terrorist attack too. Yeah, I always have to keep that in mind when it comes to explosions. Ten four. Well, this one possibly, but it's going to be very limited option because uh, in this area where they park the ambulance is not exactly blocking any entrance for people to escape. Poor Zero, I got a guy that's not complying. He won't give me his ID. He just just said no, walked away. Yeah, poor, I'm right behind you. you got him stop. Uh, I'm going to detain him. All right. So I, so we don't have any signs of life in the ambulance. Is but I'm gonna go ahead and take a check, it, take a look, and see if anybody's in the ambulance at this time. If I can even see. Now he's saying. Now he's saying he doesn't have it. At the moment, I do not see any bot signs of life or body in the ambulance. 
291 dispatch. Dispatch, go ahead, 291. 291 is going to be requesting a 1040 Classy of War 08. 104. 480 401. 401. Wow, this guy has nothing on him, but he doesn't have his ID on him, so I don't really know who he is. What do you want to do with him? Go ahead and temporarily detain him at the moment in your cruise room until we get some things sorted out here. Alright. Two ninety eight to one oh one direct. Last in the common go ahead. Do you want me to block off this uh entrance right here? I should be fine. I don't think many people's gonna come through here right now. Okay. It's up to you though. Uh, it's up to you, you're the chief. <laughs> it's up to you, man. <laughs> it's up to you. Alright, well, go ahead. Go ahead with it. Okay. You insist on something to do. Alright, so, ambulance is exploded. No bodies. Though so they clearly left the area when it blew up. So, uh, we probably need to check the records to see if there's any ambulance missed, missing right now. I pick a heck of, heck of a time to do it when the park is basically almost closed. Don't go far away from the... Wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. Too late, too late. Oh, crap. Joey? What? Yeah? When you spawn barriers, do not ever leave them. It's really just that would be the best method. Don't ever leave them. Sorry, I forgot again. Try I... to despawn your barriers right now, and okay. let's see if it can go away. If they can't, we'll just have to find another way out. Now there's another way out. So. Sorry about that. I forgot. Are they gone? They're gone. Yeah, they're screen. gone for me. Okay. Yeah. I'm just, just gonna keep go. them. I'm not gonna put them there. Yeah. I mean, if you're gonna put them there, you just gotta stand by them. Yeah. Don't. I completely forgot about that. I forgot that that happens. It's I've never had that happen before, so it's I'm. Just, yeah. It'll take me a while to remember that. Oh. Two nine eight dispatch. Go ahead. Two nine eight. Uh, what's the ETA on the investigation team? Investigation team should be arriving in two minutes. All right, guys. Y'all can uh, just go ahead and go ten eight, and uh, we'll let them pick off from here. Yeah. What should I do with it? Uh, can I investigate team kind of my cruiser? Ten eight. I have one suspect in my car. Uh, he was being, you know, uncooperative when we rolled up. Doesn't have any ID on him. Uh, I detained him in my cruiser for now, per my captain's instructions. All right. Well, are you gonna just? Well, are you gonna? Just take him in for questioning, because we don't have enough to book him with anything as of right now. 10-4 the station mark with 10-6. 10-4. dispatch. Go ahead. Don't be 10-8 from that uh, explosion. 10-4, 10-8. Slick top CVP eyes over here. That's mine. 10 4. Uh, we're heading back over to Algonquin. 10 4. 10 4. Four zero one dispatch. Go ahead, four zero one. Yeah. You can show that the investigation Yards. team has Turn arrived, right. and you can show me leaving the scene. Right. Good night, dispatch. 